Dear Arthur, I've written this letter a hundred times or more, and I cannot get it right. It's me. You know it's me from the bad handwriting. I know I said when we last spoke, and I was going off to get married, that we would not speak again. I know I said a lot of things, and I meant them, I suppose, at the time. But I'm not so proud as to not speak to people who care for me, or cared for me. I've been in Valentine for a couple of months. I had some bad luck, and, well, it's a long story and not an interesting one. But I am here for now. I saw a couple of the girls, or whatever the polite term is for them, that ran with you and your associates in town, and I heard tell of a man who sounded like you. I would love to see you again, if you could spare me a little bit of your time. I'm renting a room at Chadwick Farm, just north of Valentine. Yours, Mary Linton. Hey, Bill. <laughs> One night when I was thrifty. How are you? Covered from that business in the hotel? Oh, yeah. So we gonna hit that bank I told you about? Well, I should get back to it. Okay. Yeah. You good, Charles? What's your problem? Yes? Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to disturb you, ma'am. Uh, is, um... Is Mrs. Linton in? I'll go see. Mrs. Linton? A collar for you.
Hello, Arthur. Mary? Um. I heard you and your friends was around. I... Okay. Where's what's his name? Died. Well, I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah, me too. Happened a while ago. Pneumonia. Bad business. Sure. So, uh, well, you've been... <clears throat> you've been made a widow and you come here looking for me, is that it? No, ain't like that, Arthur. Ah, okay. I... Uh, my family... I need your help. You mean the family that always looked down on me? You want me to help? It's my little brother, Jamie. <laughs> I always liked Jamie, at least compared to the rest of them. He's broken Daddy's heart. <laughs> Daddy has a heart? Don't make me beg you, Arthur. My money, my life, me. I wasn't good enough. I'm sorry. We need your help real bad. Little Jamie's joined the Chelonians, that strange religious order. Good for him. They're quite mad, Arthur. They'll kill him. You're the only person he'd listen to. So, I'm too rough to marry into your family, but it's okay to ask me to help in saving your family. I'm sorry. I understand if you don't want to help me, but... But I think of you often. A long time ago now. I'm begging you, Arthur. I say let Jamie live Jamie's life and not the nightmare that his daddy dreamed up for him. Jamie's so innocent, Arthur. Please, Arthur. Will you help me? Where is it? Somewhere out near Carmody Dell, I think. The rancher there said he'd seen him around the Cumberland Forest area. I just want him back, Arthur. If you find him, bring him to me at the station. I'll see what I can do. I'll owe you. You already owe me.
Help me off this goddamn horse! Please, cut me free. Oh, oh, thank the Lord you showed up when you did. Oh, the things he said he'd do to me. It's all right, ma'am. It's over now. Thank you. Again. Charity. Maybe charity will find you. Help a blind man. Here. Your father is seduced by the one with the forked tongue. It's no use hoping. Uh. 
All right, friend. of theology. <laughs> One hundred years ago, the great Cholonian master led pilgrims across the Lanahassee into the wilderness to found a great place of safety. A place of safety. That is where we are heading, Jamie. Yes, Jamie. That is where we are heading. Yes, Jamie, we are heading to paradise. It's in the mountains. It sounds wonderful. It is wonderful, Jamie. Really wonderful. My father. Your father will understand, Jamie. It's paradise. It's in the mountains. And when we get there, Jamie, we will write to your father together. T together? From the mountains? Shell of safety. 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 Shell of well, I mean, his sister just wants to speak with him. Arthur, I've chosen a path. The boy has chosen a path. He's chosen safety. What path have you chosen, sir? I don't know about this nonsense. Let me speak to the boy. Da -da -da. Are you always this negative and antagonistic, sir? I'm not a very cultured man. Forgive me, please. <laughs> I am a fool for my god and a happy one, sir. I bless you. What do I dream about? Who are my heroes? I have no idea. Uh, turtles. Yeah, turtles. Hey, you love turtles. I love them too. Turtles. Um. <laughs> Jamie knows the truth. But of course, you may speak with him. Exactly. If your teachings are so great, what harm can I do? I'm... I'm not... 
I'm not coming with you, Arthur. Just come and speak with Mary, then make up your mind. Leave me alone, Arthur. I didn't ask for your help. Sisters worry about you. This is none of your damn business. Sorry. They're just using you. Telling you what you want to hear. What the hell do you know about it, Arthur? Just stop and let's talk about this. Mr. Morgan. Leave me alone. Please, kid. Put that gun down. I warn you, Arthur. I'm... I'm gonna... I don't want to live anymore. Kid, just calm down. Leave me alone. Go see your sister. Okay. <laughs> okay. It's okay, kid. Have I been a terrible fool, Arthur? I don't know. I don't know enough about it. But one thing I do know, there ain't no shame in looking for a better world. I missed you, Arthur. Are you and Mary sweet on one another again? Oh, no. That's all a long time ago, son. Yeah. Well, this wasn't how I thought today would turn out. It's been a long time, Jamie Gillis. You were a kid last time I saw you. Didn't try to kill yourself. You know, you taught me how to ride a horse. Too well, apparently. Chelonia, though? Really? You'd fall for that? They were very nice to me. They're decent. I'm sure. Please tell me you didn't give them any money. Of course I did. They rely on charitable donations. Jesus, Jamie, come on. I just wanted to believe that there might be something good coming my way one day. Guess that's dead in the water. With the turtles. Shut up. All Father kept telling me was, you won't amount to anything. You're not enough of a man. I had to get away. I couldn't take it anymore. Forgive me, but your father's a bully and a coward. Don't listen to him. Hey, don't talk about him like that. What do you want me to say, Jamie? 
He's a good father, a nice man. He won't be happy I saw you. Please send him my worst regards. The thing is, he's right. I'm not good at anything. Come on, that ain't true. Tell me something you like. Um, well, um... Don't think too hard. Apples, I guess. Apples? Yeah, I love apples. Okay. I was thinking more along the lines of carpentry or horses or something. But, all right, go work in an orchard then. By that token, you must really like shooting and robbing people. I only like shooting young idiots who run away from me when I'm trying to help them. Father told me what you do. I'm sure he did. Hey, are you still with Dutch and what was his name? H Hester? Jose. Yep, still the same, sort of. And Annabelle and Bessie? I'm afraid they're dead. Shit. Maybe Mary did make the right choice. No doubt. But none of it is anything like the nonsense you read in the newspapers. So, are you two getting back together? I told you, no. You just ask me for a favor. You know Barry Linton's dead? Pneumonia. He told me. So the door's open, so to speak. That's all in the past. Different people now. She's not. And you seem just the same. Well, maybe that right there's a problem. She was always too good for me. Here we are. She must be waiting inside. Make it quick, or I might run off again. You're nervous about seeing her, aren't you? Father's been very sad. My father wouldn't know sadness if it died in his bed. But I'll come home for you. My boy. My sweet boy. Come on. Oh, Arthur. Thank you. Thank you. It's good to see you, Mary. And you, Arthur. And you. I've... You're... Oh, you'll never change. I know that. I feel like the luckiest man alive, and I feel like a fool. That woman confuses me and plays me for a fiddle like no one else alive. I trust I will not make a god-awful fool of myself once more, but... Somehow, I imagine I shall. You want to catch another center bounty hunter? Take a gander at the poster there. The 
Terror of Valentine. That one? They say she's sleeping rough near Cumberland Falls. And what's more, they say sure she ain't sleep alone. Damn. I got it. I thought I'd stop by to see you. You've seen the air of your ways, I hope. Never been very good at that, I'm afraid. They're gonna hang me! Please! Good evening. Well, who the hell are you? Get on out of here! Be relentless in your pursuit. Can we get a few cents? Yep.
there's other fellers. It says right there in black and white. <laughs> Y'all talking about Frank and Henry. And Howie. I just had bad luck that my man broke his arm. Bad luck? That there's a bounty hunter. Get him! Ellen, I, I'm sorry, but I... I, I'm, I'm gonna make you go with the fellers. What kind Ow. of man are you? Puny! Fat... Fat and little... Oh, you men are uh. useless! Uh. To save me! You are a piece of work. Now, come in. Rot in hell. Rot with the rest of them. Handle me. <laughs> Comfortable enough for you? So, settle in. You got a ride ahead of you. came over me. Did I, did I just do those things? It's a, it's a horrible blur. But I see blood. There's blood everywhere. It won't come out. I'm not like that. I'm a blue girl. We're really. I promise I am. You believe me, don't you? Don't you, mister? Help, okay? I, I have an illness. A fever of the brain. I, I, I've done bad things, but a jail. A jail ain't where I belong. A sanatorium, maybe. Get me help, mister. Please? Save me. Be quiet with that. You're such a strong man. So tough and burly. Maybe if I had a strong man like you, I wouldn't be in this mess. My men folk, they all been weak. That's what my problem's been. How I got in this unfortunate situation. But a big strong man like you, you'd set me straight. Wouldn't you, mister? Put me on the straight and narrow? You sad sack of shit! I wish I'd cut your belly open and shown you your guts. Gutless bounty hunt nobody. I hate you. I hate you. I hate you. I hate you. Ah! I wish you'd die.
Coming up on the jailhouse. Let me get Anything else you want to try on me? Just get me there. You're no fun at all. I'm afraid I ain't. You order a lady killer here, Sheriff? <laughs> yeah, we did. Put her in the cell, won't you? I protest my innocence. I protest my innocence. She might be a little shaken up. She lost another feller out by the falls. Poor dear. Men just got a hell of a dying around you, don't they, Mrs. Swan? I hope you'll be comfortable, miss. She'll be fine. Now come get your money off the desk here. The Black Widow herself. This town's so starved of women, I'm sure she could find herself a husband yet. Now that's cowboys for you. <laughs> Indeed. So it seems this town's got more pressing problems than outlaws. Gonna take some time off posting bounties, impose law and order on the streets. That you man show my has citizens a some damn respect. It's silly to keep me locked up in here. I reckon it's time you were gone. What do you think? Hold up there, citizen! Please get away from me now! Yeah. I thought Do not move! You're afraid to die! You're in the wrong Shit! Please! Son of a whore! Come on, girl. Right there. I can't complain. I wish I could say the same. <laughs> 